Hey guys, Destiny Dragon God here for another No Man's Sky video, as you can tell. Now, today we're going to be talking about No Man's Sky crafting. More importantly, how the mechanics work and what can you do with it. And all of this is, I will say if it's either speculation or not when it becomes necessary, but most of this is concrete stuff we've had heard from people that have either played the game or from Hello Games itself. Anyway, let's get right into the video. So, there is a known crafting system in the game, like I was previously saying. Uh, and even though we do not know exactly how it works, we today we're going to talk about how some of the functions are of that what we do know. You can craft on a molecular level, no joke. There is an actual periodic table of elements in the game where, which can be combined and crafted into to other tools. Uh, these tools, most notably being your spaceship, your suit, and your multi-tool, but I'll get into that a little bit later. Uh, these craftables can also be used for upgrades as well. Uh, the known ways that you can get these materials are mining, destroying these robots, the malevolent force as you see, the sentinels, um, bar bartering, i.e. trading, you know, from outposts and other various sources. Um, I would like to speculate right here and say ships as well, but all we know right now of is if you destroy ships, the space police or, you know, the military that comes after you, you just get units for it, not necessarily materials. Uh, yeah, so I don't know about that, but we'll talk about that a little bit mid, uh, when it comes out to us. But anyway, continuing on. There is also a system in the game which has been referred to as blueprints, uh, which is self-explanatory in itself, but if you don't know what a blueprint is, it's basically like a, it just basically tells you how to do something. It's the makeup of how something would be done. And when you build a Lego set, if any of you have ever built a Lego set before, technically the blueprints are the instructions that you follow. Now, that was a little lesson, I guess, for those of you that don't know what a blueprint is. I, you, everyone, I guess, should, so that was kind of unmentioned. Anyway, let's, let's continue on. Anyway, uh, use these cra to craft very special multi-tools and other different types of craftables. These cra other craftables we don't know too much about, but we do know multi-tools are craftable and upgradable with these blueprints. Uh, that's why when you see the video uh, that we'll be playing in the middle of this one, where it was just latest that's shown at E3, he had a different multi-tool from what we've been shown in all the other trailers, because multi-tools are not universal. We will not just see one multi-tool. You will be seeing multiple multi-tools. In fact, you might even see people crafting special multi-tools they found these blueprints from. How you obtain these blue, uh, blueprints are unknown, but here's speculation again. Uh, I would speculate that you would find them in ruin, or not an, in ruins, um, un, you know, ruined cities or ruined things, maybe dropping from the sentinels. Pro that's probably least likely to happen, probably from these ruins or something like that, and up, uh, uploading on various distress beacons and maybe being rewarded them. Or I would probably speculate and say you buy these blueprints. I I'm going to guess it's either the ruins or you purchase these blu uh, blueprints at various outposts and stations. Uh, also to note, and I'll talk about this in another video later, but um, it, there is a station in every solar system, the big fat dots that you see them teleport to, that have all the different planets in them. Um, there will be a station in one or in each of the solar systems. Uh, there is an outpost, those little, on the, in the E3 demo, it showed up as a purple point of interest icon. Uh, I don't know if that's solid or if that's going to stay, but from what we know, it's a point of interest icon that's purple. And there is a little gem inside, you actually see it in some of the trailers, that I'm guessing you would go to and sell your stuff to. I'm guessing that's the NPC, so to speak, there, even though the game has no NPCs as we know. But, um, anyway, yes, uh... There are outposts. You will sell these materials and other things, too. Uh, continuing on uh, with the crack tools and other things like that, it's also unconfirmed right here. I'm going to say this is unconfirmed, but I would say it's pretty much confirmed because it comes from someone that got to watch a demo take place, and he's quoted in saying that he the reason why we have not seen this certain thing is because it would take either 30 minutes or so to craft this thing, and, that's what, and what it is is ships. Uh, if I will link in the description below. It's on a JT, I think, news review or whatever, where they talked about someone just playing No Man's Sky or watching it happen. They they brought a bunch of people in to see like a private demo. They didn't show us, and uh, they talked about you know he showed Sean showed me different aspects we didn't actually see, 
but these people got to talk about it and one of the things he talked about was crafting ships and that's a new feature we not have not yet explored and known about I would be willing to say that he might have misspoken and what he meant by crafting ships you can actually craft upgrades or you can change and slot upgrades out because we do know there is a slot mechanic for your ship where you will put different upgrades on i.e. cargo space weapons and other things like that uh, and you different ships will have different amount of upgra uh, upgrade paths and upgrade slots but we'll find that out as you know more info is put out about the game uh, but yeah I will link the video in the description below it's a very interesting video and I really it goes along with the last video I did about what An No Man's Sky is I would really like a lot of people to watch that because it was a really good uh, video anyway going on uh, you can upgrade different and many different types of uh, abilities and entire catalysts are upgradable and I mean that you stretching from your ship like I said your cargo space weaponry and warp drive distance I say warp drive distance it's really just your warp drive but most people need to know or like if people say warp drive distance because what you're really doing is upgrading the distance you travel not necessarily the anyway it's just specifics as opposed to just saying the whole thing you can also upgrade your spacesuit. Your spacesuit has a jet pack, pressure control, which I'm going to think is used for depth things like going underwater. I remember Sean uh, was quoted in saying there was a point of interest he was trying to reach uh, that he couldn't reach because the water it was too deep and his he kept dying from the pressure. So I'm guessing you can upgrade. This. There's a pressure control system. Uh, there's also a hazardous gas and fluid resilience upgrade or upgrades you can do on your suit. Uh, you can also upgrade your, uh, like I said, your multi-tool, which is a laser, doubles as a laser gun, and a mining tool. Maybe there's other uses we probably don't know of, and a lot of people will probably have forgotten about this. There are grenades in this game. We know of the plasma grenade, and I think another grenade. But one of them destroys scenery. I think one of them can be used for mining, but that's unconfirmed. I do know that there are grenades, though. I just don't know how they function exactly. I have to pull it out and... As for a video for another time. Anyway, yes, the multi-tools, like I said earlier in the video, are craftable with these blueprints. You can also, this is the key thing, you can also buy any of the previously listed things. You can buy a new ship, you can buy a new suit, and you can buy a new multi-tool. However, you can only own one of these at a time. So you can't store them in your bank account or your account because as we... Most of us should know, or if you don't know, I'm going to tell you. You have a bank account slash storage thing uh, storage drive where you can store things when you go to certain stations and things and they are universally transferred throughout your adventure or adventures uh, mainly money I don't know if resources are in there but I'd say you could probably I'm, I'm not it's unconfirmed but I would most definitely say you can put your resources in there if you want uh, I'm guessing that's gonna be used well actually no now I think about it you probably won't be able to do that because your ship is going to be your material carrying device not yeah so your bank account is literally probably going to be just your bank account that was my bad I misspoke right there I will have another video talking about the other mechanics in the game regarding the survival and enemies tactics soon probably when uh, they give us some new information but anyway stay posted by subscribing and share No Man's Sky around if it's going to uh, be an exciting experience Hopefully I can uh, play with some of you guys when we all get the game inevitably, but like I said in the last couple of videos, it's going to be very difficult to find people, but it is possible, so see you then. Enjoy the rest of the comment, or not commentary, enjoy the rest of the video.